everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shane. Thank you so much for joining me for today's soap making video. I am so excited about this soap because it's one of these soaps that I've been wanting to make for a number of years but have always put it off because I was never happy with my soap dough. But after actually perfecting my soap dough recipe and being able to make some of the sort of designs I've been wanting to make for a long time, I thought this Easter was going to be the one where I made my bunny butt soap. So I pulled out my little soap dough box, I made my Myself some little bunny butts and now we're going to go and put it all together as I make bunny butt soap. Let's go. Okay so let's jump straight in. We've got our live water and our oils which are down to the room temperature I like to soap at. Just going to combine the two, mix them up with the stick blender until they just come together and then I have a few colours that I'm going to split it out and then I've also got this absolutely amazing fragrance oil to add into it. It's really making me hungry. Okay, so for the colours, I have a little pot here which I have got some mocha mica. So I'm going to pour off a bit in here. We're going to do a bit of a in the pot swirl with two browns. And then I'll also be doing a drop pour with some of this one which is orange pop mica. So I'm going to pour about that much in there. But I might actually just pour a bit of that off in there. I'm not worried if some of that orange mica goes into that brown because they're very similar sort of tones in colour. So we've got those two and then I've got some Hello Spring which is one of the Nurture Soap ones. I really really love this green. It goes a really funny colour but it always comes back beautiful. So we've got that one and then into my big container I have got some Latte Mica. Now I don't want this to be a really dark base at the moment. I don't know if my um, fragrance oil will discolor but um, don't all the same I don't want that brown to be too dark so just a little bit of that one let's get these colors mixed in and I might start with that green first Alright, so I'll give these a bit more of a mix in a minute once I have got the fragrance mixed in. I have got this absolutely amazing fragrance oil from the Fragrance Garden and it is called Carrot Cake. Now, I'm not a fan of the of actual carrot cakes, but this one does smell just like a carrot cake does. I like the smell of carrot cakes, I just don't like eating them. Something about putting carrot into a cake that I just I don't quite agree with <laughs> but that's just a funny little quirk for me so I've mixed it is quite a dark fragrance oil I'm getting lots of sort of vanilla there's some currant notes in there you can smell the carrot it is just absolutely divine there's that little bit of sort of spice from the cinnamon I'm not pouring it into my green because I don't want that green to go any darker I'm just pouring it into my earth colors because I don't mind if this lot goes dark um, but oh, it just smells absolutely amazing. So I'm going to get all these um, colours mixed in and then we will get to pouring into the mould. The idea behind what I'm trying to achieve with today's soap is I want the bottom of my soap to look like the earth, like, um, like soil. And I'm going to mix the two browns together just to give it a little bit of contrast in there and then I'm going to drop the orange in to make it look hopefully like there's some little carrots scattered in amongst the um, the soil there and then the green that I've got there I'm going to pour over the top to look like grass and then we have some little bunny butts to go on the top and some little flowers so I'm going to make this a real Easter themed soap. So as I said, the first thing I'm going to do is an in the pot swirl with these two browns. So we'll get all of this dark one poured in. I'm going to grab our mould and pour all of this in. 
because I don't want to try and create any swirlies with my orange this time. I just want the orange ones to stay like big drops. So this is starting to thicken up just a little bit so we should get some really nice drops so let's see what happens all right so we've got that in let's give it a bit of a, a wiggle to get it right I'm gonna pour just a thin layer of this green over the top and then I'm gonna save some back for some piping as well. Okay, so I'm finally ready to start piping now. I did put all of that soap into the extra jug so I could get my stick blender in um, to get it to work. Now this was just piping, because you can see, I just tested it. Okay, so we've had a little bit of a last minute change of plan because if you can see this mess down here, I cannot get my grass tip to work. It keeps pumping out blobs. So given up with that idea I've just changed my piping bag over. I have got a leaf tip in it now and I'm just going to pipe lots of leaves over the top and we'll just use our imaginations and think it looks like grass because what I'm going to do I got these cute little bunny butts and I'm going to stick on each of the soaps. I am so super pleased with them. I have been wanting to make a bunny butt soap for such a long time and I decided this Easter was the time to do it so I sat down with my soap dough one day and I just made lots of little bunny butts so I'm gonna pop one into the middle of each of these soaps and then once I've got them all on here I am going to pipe on lots of little leaves and I have also in here, let me pop that little bunny butt on there, I have some little flowers and I made these using the Wicked Lee soap sprinkle sheets. I had one of the Sakura um, flower sheets and I poured in my soap and then popped out the little um, flowers to use on here. So we'll make a little field of flowers with bunny butts sticking out and then hopefully when we cut these bars it will look like these bunnies are diving down to get some carrots from underneath. So I'm going to get all of these on and we'll see if it comes together better than my original idea of trying to pipe on some grass. Okay, so I know the screen isn't looking the nicest at the moment, but it does come back to a beautiful color. Just giving that a quick spray with some rubbing alcohol just to try and um, avoid any soda ash. Um, I, sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. But the reason I'm doing it now is because I'm gonna put on some biodegradable glitter and Tierra sent me this one. It is absolutely gorgeous and it is called Spring Fever and it is from Eco Glimmer. So thank you, Tierra, and for all the other ones you sent to me as well. This one, as soon as I saw it, I knew it was gonna go on here. So I'm just gonna give it just a bit of a, a gentle sprinkle. 
I haven't got any of my pots down here to put the glitters into, so I'll need to bring some down. There are some big chunks in here. And then I'm also just going to give it a quick dusting with some of the um, sort of clear biodegradable one as well. And that's just because it had a few smaller sort of chunks. And now I'm just going to grab some of these little um, flower sprinkles and I'm just going to dot them around on the top. Okay, well there it is. There is my bunny butt So I am going to leave it sit overnight. That green is hopefully going to pop back into that beautiful Hello Spring. And then we're going to cut it open and see what it looks like on the inside in just one moment. Okay, so we are here to cut into bunny butts and look at that beautiful color that it has gone. It's always so worrying waiting for the colors to actually turn back into what you know that they should be, but it has come up just as I hoped and those flowers have all sort of popped on there. So let's get this one lined up. I know that I've got my bunny butts in the right place. I just gotta make sure that the wires are lined up right on my soap. And I think that is looking really good. It smells absolutely amazing as well. The um, fragrance has held really well. So let's push through and thunk. We've lost a couple of the flowers, but that's okay. We'll just posh them, posh them, push them back on there and they will hold. We'll grab this one from off the end first. And that is the inside. So I was hoping for some smaller drops in there, but I must have just had a little bit too much of that um, orange. But it looks like we've got a great big carrot that the bunny's diving it down for. Really do like the colors this one has gone. Oh, that's a bit more what I was after. Just some little drops of orange. So it looks like we've got some proportionately sized carrots in there. So really happy with how that one has come together and it does, it smells so, so good. And I'm actually quite happy that the grass tip didn't work on this paw um, or on the top of this, because I really do like how the leaves have gone. I think it's given it a lot more sort of texture, looks more like a field rather than someone's backyard. And I love how the brown has swirled in there with that in the pot swirl as well. Really, really pleased with how this one has come up. It's one of those soaps where I've been actually wanting to make a bunny butt soap for so long but it was similar to when I did my little ducky soap I just was never too happy with my soap dough until I ended up creating the soap dough recipe that I now use and I thought well this year we are going to make a little bunny butt seeing as I absolutely love them I have got a little reel up over on the Instagram channel about how I created them right down to the tiny little toes that are on his paw pads there but I am so happy with how this one has come up. The end bar is a bit funny, but the rest of them have come up exactly how I envisaged it to look. So I hope you have enjoyed coming along with me and watching how I made my bunny butt soap for this Easter. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. It really does help the videos to get out there. And until the next time, I hope you have a good one and I will see you then. Bye.